Hello everyone, Reza here. Welcome to another how to video. In this one, we are going to look at how to create time warping effect inside Autodesk Maya. Let's get started. So here I am inside this scene where I've got my superhero and a stranger in the dark and if I play the character gets hit so I what I want to do when the superhero gets shot I want this to play as a slow motion and these are the type of things that you can do in post-production but well we have a tool for it in Maya so why not let's get to work First things first, you need to make sure that you have enough time frame. I've got pre-roll starting from frame minus five and it, the whole animation goes uh, all the way up to 91. The way that you activate this tool is you need to make sure that you're in animation menu set. Without anything selected, you go to key and all the way to time scene time warp and add scene time warp. Well, on the surface, not much is happening, but you may have noticed that we have now two keyframes at the start, at the end of our time frame. So you need to make sure that your time slider or your time frame is set accurately and also frame per second needs to be um, set accurately because that will change the way that the animation is played. Now we've got a new time warp node available in here. It is not showing in the outliner, but you can always right click show DAG only and find it. You've got frame minus one, minus five to 91, and that's the time and that's the value. And of course it shows us the tangents that for in tangents, I've got um, auto and clamped. And for the out tangents, we had clamped and auto. And basically it's just a preset tangents position inside Autodesk Maya. Now graph editor opened in the other monitor. I'm just gonna move it here. There we have the time warp function curve. And the way that we edit uh, this time warp curve is uh, pretty much the same way you edit any other animation curve. As you change this time warp curve, you can kind of watch the effect of the change you are making in your scene. As you can see, we have two uh, keys, one at the start of the playback range and one at the end of the playback range and the pre and post infinity options are also set to linear. Now let's see how we can create that time warp and what these two values are going to represent for us. Well, one is a value and the other one is the time. Now, obviously, if I reduce or increase the value, I'm going to kind of speed up the animation. If I were to go to the end and increase this 91 to something like 200, what I'm going to get is a speedier or faster animation. So if you wish to speed up your animation, you still can use time warp and that's how you do it. Now the opposite applies. This represents your time. If you would like to extend your time and get a slower animation, you increase the time factor. So I'm going to increase my time factor to something like 500, I mean, um, you need to make sure that the end frame is selected, then you go to 500. And of course, my animation now has been extended to 500. All I need to do is to increase this animation, go to the frame one, and there you have it. Now, the cool thing about this is you can play around with the function curves and see different results. For example, you can bring your uh, F-curve to something like frame, let's say frame even 50. Go to key, 
insert key tool and middle click to insert a keyframe without changing the F curve. You can select the end frame and say, well, I would like to dial this back to 150. So what it does, if I now play the animation, slow motion, look at the time frame. As soon as we pass the keyframe that we just selected, we go back to normal timing. So you can actually play around with timing like that by inserting keyframe and say, all right, I want slow motion and then switch back to normal time frame. So knowing how F curve works, knowing how to play around with tangents is very important. I would stay away from linear step type of uh, tangent shape and go with plateau or even auto something really smooth to be able to control your time warp but it's a very very effective tool very simple tool i can intensify that as well i can go and instead of uh, 51 i can go to 80 so you can see i'm extending this slow motion and then switch back to normal so if i go in here and now play minus 5 to 80 slow motion now switches back to normal so very very simple again you have control over numerical values here as well but what i really don't want to do is to rely on um, attribute editor to fix things because yes you do have access to tangents and to the shape of the tangents but f curve usually gives you a, a much cleaner uh, representation of how time warp is going to work of course you can go to keys uh, scene time warp you can delete your time warp and de or deactivate your time warp if you wish to but you cannot add another time warp uh, you can just have one scene time warp per scene so that's it. There is really not much to it. It's just one single tool that you use to create that kind of bullet time, exciting looking effect. Again, this scene is available on my Patreon page. So feel free to drop by and download it. Let me know how you go. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial until the next one. See you guys soon.